Hello and thank you for watching. Today we're gonna go over tactical belts. Now this is my old Blackhawk belt and this is an Elite Survival Systems belt. Now this Blackhawk belt I think I've had for over three years. As you can see it's still extremely rigid and held up extremely well but it's not without its issues. It does show a little wear and we're gonna go into some details of its fallbacks later. As you can see here we have an Elite Tactical Systems medium size belt. This is their CO Shooters belt. There's the contact information if you're interested. You can find this belt um, on Amazon I believe and of course their own website. The clasp is pretty simple and I believe it's rated, well I have to check the rating before I say anything live, but you can check those on the website. Going back to the Black Hawk belt, this was a very cheap $12 belt that served its purpose well, but if you've ever used one of these belts, you know that the entire outside is um, Velcro or also known as hook and loop. The problem this causes is it tends to catch crap inside of these little hooks. Also, because it's so rigid, it'll cut into your side and cut up lighter clothing if you wear it repeatedly. As you can see with this belt, I actually found some loop that I can put over top to help give it a more refined appearance and help um, keep some of the damage to a minimum. Also, you can see that over the course of years, it really doesn't stick very well anymore. I can tell you the one reason this belt will still work for me is when you put both of these inside the loop, it can't come undone because it's too rigid to come loose. Now, if you slide the belt out of the loop, then it comes undone just like that. Basically, it kind of works like cam kimes over, so it stays tight. Uh, very difficult to adjust. I kind of only have one size in it because this is how I broke it in and this is how I've used it. So it is what it is. It's been an excellent belt for the duration of its use. Now moving on to the Elite Tactical Systems belt. This is a much better belt. It's a lot lighter, just as rigid, and you also have the infinite Velcro size options that you do with a Blackhawk. You'll also notice you have a much better clasp here. Snap it together and it's done. Push these forward to take it loose. What's nice about that is in order to take it apart, you have to do an opposite action of what any normal force would do. You have to push it towards the other clasp to let it loose. If you're in a situation, nobody can take it off by pushing it the other way. It just doesn't work that way. Another nice thing about this belt is you don't have the hook going all the way around the outside like the Blackhawk. And to that point you have the loop on the outside and you have the hook on the inside where it doesn't bother you and it won't scratch you. So those are both excellent features that make this a far better belt than the Blackhawk. Now this I believe is their gray. They call it the wolf gray color. Now, of course, next to the Humvee here, it does look a tad bit green, but that's just because of the color difference and the way the lens works on the camera. In normal lighting, it does have a bit more of a gray appearance, but it's not as dark a gray as what I would call an Air Force gray. So, there you have it. One other thing I want to go over before I let you go is belt loop sizing. Now, it can be extremely frustrating when you buy a belt and it doesn't work for your pants. So our first example here are some blue jeans. These blue jeans I think are red cap, pretty, cap, pretty standard blue jeans. Any type of work jean would be pretty similar. Now, this does work well with a belt loop. As you can see, it slips right through. It's pretty tight or wide at the full width there, but not tight enough. It's difficult to put on. So this will work well with blue jeans. And then to go a step further, we have these Vertex pants right here, which are more of a tactical pants and are expected to have a larger belt loop as well. And on the Vertex, it is pretty tight. Let's take a look here. So it 
does look like we're going to get it through, but it's going to take a little bit of work here. Maybe. Let's see if this one fits through. So it does look like it is too large for the vertex pants. You can get it through this way and string it around, it looks like, which will work fine. This is the way you're likely going to come in anyways. At least that's how I put my pants on. And that will work. So just keep in mind that it does look like this Elite Tactical Belt has a heavy-duty latch, which is superb, but in certain types of pants you may find that it's a little bit too tight here now if you do have a black hawk belt for reference we can take a look at that one a moment in fact i'll leave this here and we'll just run this through here much lighter duty class but it does fit through so be forewarned and expect the Elite Tactical Systems belt to be a little bit wider than the Blackhawk belt, possibly wider than the belt you're using now.